Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Jeffy and my Chihuahua is taking a nap somewhere. Today we're going to be working on a really cool wicker mirror. My best friend gave me this. It was completely white when I got it and I went ahead and added some color. Now this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I finished this because honestly I got a little ahead of myself. I started painting before I even got on here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys right now real quick all of the colors that were used on this project. And the way I went about painting it is I just went in there and did a really thin layer all the way around of purple and then a little thin layer of blue, a little thin layer of green. And these acrylic paints really just blended together really well so there wasn't too much blending I had to do. This is one of the easiest things I've ever painted. It did take a little bit of time but it's probably one of the most gorgeous things I've ever made. So I'm excited to share with you guys how I got to this point and how I'm going to go ahead and finish this mirror. So these were all of the colors I used. Instead of going with just the regular six, I went ahead and added that green turquoise. I thought it was a really nice little pathway between the lime green and the cool blue. So I've already got the front of this mirror pretty much all ready to go. The one thing that I don't have done yet is the back. And I personally don't like to leave the backs of things empty. I think it's a great place to put in like a secret hidden message. And especially something like this that you use every day to get beautiful with, like of course, you're gonna want something to remind yourself how awesome you are. So what we're gonna be doing to the back of this mirror is writing my personal daily affirmations, and you can of course do your own. Full disclosure, I stole this from a television show that I was watching. It was a hairdressing show, I don't remember the name of it, but at the beginning of each class, they did this daily affirmation where they said, I am, fill in the blank, I can fill in the blank and I will fill in the blank. And of course, you know, after I saw this, I fucking loved it. I loved it. So I had to make my own. So I'll share mine with you guys before I paint it. Um, I like to say, I am a strong and beautiful woman. I can build anything I set my mind to and I will get through all life's troubles with a smile on my face. So that one's mine, and of course, you know, make it as personal as you want. This is your gorgeous mirror. Just anything that makes you happy. To keep our project stable, I went ahead and laid it down on a blanket, and then I just went in with some painter's tape to kind of map out my lines on where I wanted my words to be, and then I just used a Sharpie to go ahead and write on our saying. All right, so once we've got everything painted on the front and the back of this, we're gonna wanna spray it with a finishing spray just to make sure that our paint doesn't chip off. Before I started spraying, I went ahead and used some more of that painter's tape to cover the mirror just to protect it. The spray I ended up using was this Aline's Gloss Coat. It ended up spraying beautifully and I would highly recommend it. To put some finishing touches on this mirror, I'm going to be using a bunch of rhinestones and some E6000 glue. Most of these rhinestones I already had on hand, but the little sparkly bag I got at Michael's. To begin my decorations, I made a little flower out of rhinestones directly on the mirror, and then I just went around the rainbow circle and added a teeny tiny dot of the E6000 glue and topped it off with a gemstone. I was originally going to add a lot more gemstones to this, but once I saw how it was looking, I figured that it was just perfect the way it was. I seriously think this mirror turned out absolutely perfectly. I couldn't have dreamed up a better version of it. So I'm really happy with the results and I'm excited to do another project. If you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that like and subscribe button so you can see some more videos from us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.